Welcome back. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. It claims around 8 million lives a year, and the number of cases is expected to grow by 70% in the next 20 years. But a new form of treatment is changing the way doctors treat and eliminate the disease. CCTV's Tracy Tandon reports. It's the pinhole cancer treatment you've probably never heard of. Interventional oncology, or I.O., is changing the way science and doctors around the world are treating cancer. I.O. is a minimally invasive surgery done by interventional radiologists. Using images to identify tumors, radiologists are able to blast, shrink and remove tumors in various parts of the body. Using imaging, we could reach some area of the body that most people couldn't reach easily unless they had to do surgery or more invasive procedures. So by being able to access those sites by minimal invasive procedures, this uh, specialty called interventional radiology has been created. The ability to do minimally invasive surgery means that patients oftentimes avoid undergoing big surgical procedures. The cost is less, the recovery times are shorter, um, you know, and from our standpoint, it's very interesting because it's very technologically advanced. Interventional oncology enables interventional radiologists to treat a range of cancers. A significant portion of liver cancer patients, one way or the other, receive uh, I.O. treatments, at least 80 percent of them, because surgery or chemotherapy is not effective or not suitable for those patients. We also treat a lot of renal cancer patients when the size and location is appropriate by ablation, lung cancer patients, soft tissue, bone tumors, either for pain or for curative, spine metastases. Earlier this year, President Barack Obama announced a $1 billion initiative to eliminate cancer. Known as the National Cancer Moonshot, the effort is designed to help doctors identify new ways in which they can prevent, diagnose and treat cancer. While I.O. is not part of the National Cancer Moonshot initiative, doctors are optimistic that it's only a matter of time before they receive more government funding. Compared to the rest of the medical community, the grants that oncologists, surgeons, etc. apply for because they've been doing this much longer than we have, our portion is significantly small and it needs to increase. While I.O. specifically treats cancer, its broader category, interventional radiology, treats a range of medical issues. Everything from veins to arteries, spinal fractures, blood clots in lungs, and even brain aneurysms. Our field actually is the quote-unquote think outside of the box field of medicine. In a lot of ways, I think that the way Apple kind of revolutionized, you know, computers and technology, it's the same approach that we take to medicine and interventional radiology. Interventional radiologists around the world are revolutionizing healthcare. The challenge now for them is to be more visible so that they can gain more recognition and garner more support. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.